DJ Ben Ben Ben. When I go outside and I'm amongst my singing, Jay Prince is proud of you. Know, Jay Prince can suck a. Listen, <laughs> I, I want you to understand, like, son. Jay Prince <laughs> can suck a soul. What's going on, Bandana fam? It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo. You already know what it is. Listen, check this, right? If this is your first time on my channel. Do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. At the end of this video, if you like the video, if you laugh, if you enjoy anything on the video, please hit that like button, that thumbs up video. It would mean a lot to me. And if you're already tied in with DJ Bandana Black, part of the Bandana fam, listen, this is what I need all of you guys to do. And everybody do me two favors, two favors, right? One quick favor. Unsubscribe to the channel right now. So unsubscribe to the channel, then resubscribe to the channel so you get notifications. There's something wrong with the YouTube joint where you're not getting notifications. And then number two, also to I need everybody to follow me on Clubhouse. I'll put the links down below. Clubhouse, 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 links below. DJ Bandana Black on Clubhouse. DJ Bandana Black and the Bandana Fam. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the floor. All of my moderators is on YouTube. If you're a moderator on YouTube or Twitch, you automatically become a moderator on Clubhouse, once you get on, just DM me and I'll I, I beam you right back up. Um, but I will put the links down below. We will be going live 7.16 p.m. every day, 7.16 p.m. on Clubhouse. 7.16 p.m. every day on Clubhouse. Now, this is just something that <clears throat> I was just scrolling through um, scrolling through YouTube. I just found this funny because Hassan Sis Campbell is a hypocrite. Like, I, I've been saying this for years, but this is, I'm going to prove to you guys that he's a hypocrite. One, Hassan Campbell is scared of Jay Prince. Hassan Campbell is scared of Jay Prince. He's, he's told us several times that he's scared of Jay Prince. He showed us that he's scared of Jay Prince. Me personally, I'm not scared of Jay Prince. I respect Jay Prince, but you know what Hassan Campbell does? He he, he throws little, little little darts, little shots at Jay Prince, and then when he seems like the pressure is on, he kind of just, he, you know I'm saying, he takes the things back. So a few years ago, Hassan Campbell did the same thing that he did in the beginning of this video. I know, you know a little rant that he was throwing in the beginning of this video? I'm going to play the rest of that. Matter of fact, let's stop and play the rest of it now so it all makes sense. This is what I was talking about. Up ties, right? Fuck your mob ties. Fuck your mother. And everything that gave birth to you, you bitch ass nigga. I don't respect you because you had a child. Okay, so you can see right there, Hassan Campbell has some pretty choice words for Mr. J. Prince, right? Some pretty uh, choice words for Mr. J. Prince. Um, a few years ago, he had some pretty choice words for Mr. J. Prince also, too. He said something to the tune of, he asked a grown man to fly him out. Hassan Campbell. Remember Hassan Sis Campbell, the guy I always be telling you, he, be, he always got this problem with guys who always wanted, he's just infatuated with guy male parts. That guy right there asked a grown man to fly him out. And then what happened when the pressure got on? He apologized to Jay Prince. The same thing he's going to do after this little drink that he flipped out today doing. And about a week or two, he's going to apologize again to, you know, I saw him a lake and he's going to say whatever he got to say. And you know what I'm saying? I had a change of mind. God spoke to me and I'm a bigger man and all that stuff with the pressure is on. But once the views is up, he talk and say whatever he want. So I'm going to show you guys a clip of the other video that I was talking about too. This is it right here. What? I said again. That's word to my dying mother in that hospital fighting for her life. With all the pain and all the stress that I've been through in my life. I will personally let you pay for my ticket to go all the way to your hometown and spit dead in your face for the disrespect that you uttering out of your motherfucking mouth. All right, boom. So in that video clip right there, you can see that Hassan Campbell clearly just asked a grown man to fly him out. How do you even word that? Like, you see how slick he just said? Like, he just, it sounded like he was talking tough when he just said to Jay Prince, but really he just asked a grown man to fly him out. Like, you tried to get fooled out by a grown man, bro. Like, shit is crazy. Um, but besides the fact that you can't do nothing with Jay Prince at all and you're scared of him because the same thing happened a few years ago and then when the pressure got on, you apologized to him. So instead of you talking tough to a camera, Mr. Hassan Campbell, since you big, bad, Brown River, serial killer, I'm saying coast to coast, do something, bro. Do something. Stop talking stuff to a camera. Do something. That's what. Do something, bro. A bandana black is telling you to do something. Like, all motivational speaker, all, you know what I'm saying, role model stuff aside, because this is what you're portraying, Sonic. Yeah, but you only talking tough as shit, bro. Do something. That's Just do something, bro. Hassan says, Campbell, do something, bro. Stop making these dry threats and stuff. Just, you look old. You and Jay Prince look terrible doing this shit. Jay Prince, damn near 60 years old, arguing with motherfuckers on social media like he a damn drill rapper. And then you got Hassan Sis Campbell. You don't, he don't know whether he want to be straight or if he identifies as this or if he this or that. He on here just talking all crazy and stupid, man. Y'all hop in the comments let me know. Like I said, I was just I was scrolling through YouTube and I seen this video. I was like, hold on. I know this ain't Sis talking crazy because I could have swore a few years ago. He apologized. He was talking crazy to, to, to Jay Prince. And then when the pressure got on, he apologized. Same thing he's going to do here. Me, I'm not going to apologize. I'm actually going to say this, right? The reason why I don't respect Jay Prince is for one of the same reasons that Simon Campbell sis didn't respect Jay Prince um, initially. When it came to the whole YBN Almighty uh, chain situation. I'm just going to say this. 
I don't want to go viral or anything like that. And shouts out to the homie uh, Hocus 4 5th. Shout out to everybody down there in the Bronx. But look real closely into that story, right? You know how we always say that Jay Prince really isn't as powerful as he says he is, especially in New York? Damn, this might go viral, but because nobody else actually reported on this. But look real close to that YBM um, J Almighty situation. And I'll say this they did get a chain back, but did they get the chain back? Look at that video. Look at those pictures. Zoom in. They got a chain back. But then he get the chain back, Mr. J. Prince. That's how you do it, Simon Campbell. We out. DJ Ban Ban Bandana. DJ Bandana Black and Doris Records. Yeah, man. Bandana Black, you know, he always played local music, you know, for Buffalo, man. We That was the only DJ we really had, you know what I'm saying? And um, he always showed love, man. He always been a fan, you know, since day one. I knew him before. I, I knew him before he was even bandana black, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like when he when he became, you know, on the radio, uh, a radio DJ, man, he just always showed love, man. So, you know, definitely shout out to Bandana Black. Yeah, what Eve we bandana black. DJ Ban Ban Bandana.